Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're starting a new MLB The Show series, A Road to the Show, with Matt Christensen. I am just going to pattern this guy after myself the way I was in high school. And uh, please bear with me for the first few episodes. My series are always uh, kind of an evolution of sorts. And as this goes along, I've never done a Road to the Show series before, so as it goes along, hopefully it will evolve and become... uh, I'll find ways to better portray it for you as it goes along. So, first off here, we're just in the Prospect Showcase. Game number one. We're sitting at a 1-1 camp. We've got a runner on first with nobody out in the top of the first inning. We are batting second in the order. And we're going to lead things off with a base hit up the middle. And the runner ahead of us will move up 60 feet to second. And we're one for one on the day. So now we're on the base pass and a base hit up the middle. And we're going to hold up at second base. The run will come in to score. So our team goes up one to nothing and we sit at second base. A 3-2 count to the batter now. There's a runner behind us at first. Still nobody out. And this one is lined into right field. It gets down and we are heading to the plate. And the throw is not in time. We're going to come in to score the second run of the game. Here in the Prospect Showcase, we will find out after this is all over what team will draft us or if we're going to go back, go to college and then uh, do this all over again. We'll see how things go. So we're leading 4-3 to three now over the Central squad in the second inning. Nobody out. Runner on second. Chance to drive in a run. Diving play out and left, and he misses it. And it gets past him. It's going to roll to the warning track. We're going to head to third. A run comes in to score. Here comes the throw. It's not in time. And we're in with a triple. So the first game is in the books. We go two for five with a triple and an RBI. And our team ends up winning seven to four. That's not of much consequence. So the second game now against the East squad. We're playing in the outfield with runners on the corners and one out. The runner's going to tag here. And we have a pretty good arm. I chose the the uh, the uh, solid player that has the uh, hits for average and has a good arm because that's more of what I did in high school. I wasn't a power hitter. I hit for average and had a pretty solid arm, I thought, back in the day. So, runner on second, ground ball up the middle. Short stops on to first, and that will retire us. We do move the runner over to third, though, and get the job done with one out. Hopefully the scouts take that into account. So we're all tied up at three in the eighth inning. Here's a drive over our head, and we are going to track it down with one out, or that'll be the first out of the inning, I should say. In inning number eight, we're all tied up with the East squad here in this second prospect showcase game. And here is a drive to the left field side, and we make the error out and left. That one's going to cost us a couple of rounds in the draft, probably. I haven't played tons of road to the show, so I'm still getting used to it. But that shouldn't have happened uh, one way or the other. So not a good game for us. We go 0 for 3, draw a walk, have that error out there. And we are heading into the draft now with the number one, with the first overall pick in round number 23, the Detroit Tigers select us with that number one pick of round number 23. So we've just been drafted by the Tigers. Round 23, pick one, so we're going to be kind of a long shot to make it to the bigs, and I'm okay with that. So we start off with the potential of a C. We're 52 overall. Our secondary position is first base. We bat left. We throw left. 5'10", 195 pounds from Utah. Again, I just patterned it after myself. (laughs) So we're going to start off here in double A with the Erie Seawolves. As we look at the right fielders in our organization, Nicholas Castellanos, the starting right fielder for the Tigers. And we're going to get our double A career underway here. 
taking on the fighting fills of Redding. Redding, Pennsylvania, and Erie, Pennsylvania, the Erie Seawolves, the affiliate of the Detroit Tigers. So we are slotted in the number two spot in the batting order, facing Brian Couch in our first ever double-A game. And we're going to come up and take the plate. Or take our spot in the batter's box with a runner on first and nobody out. Then we take the first pitch of our career for strike one. 0 1 count, facing a lefty. That one's off the plate. 1 1 count. Swung on and missed. Runner going in the catcher. Can't get the ball out of his glove. So we've got a 1 2 count, a runner in scoring position here in the first inning. And hard line drive ground ball to the right si or left side, sorry. And we ground out in our opening at bat. So we're 0 for 1 with the ground out. Now we are leading Redding 2 to nothing in the second inning with a runner on second and two outs and a chance to drive in the third run of the game. First pitch taken up high, second pitch right down the middle. 1-1 one, one delivery. Swung on and chopped off the plate for a foul ball. One and two with two outs. And here is the de delivery. That one is low and away. 2-2 two, two count. That one is up high. We run the count full with a base open over there. We foul one back. So solid at bat here for us in our second at bat. Still looking for our first base hit. And patiently we are going to draw the walk. With two outs. Nothing comes of the situation and we head further into the game in the fifth inning the Redding fighting fills have taken the five to two lead and on the hit and run we hit one through the hole on the left side that the shortstop has vacated the runner running from first is going to come all the way around to score in our first career double a hit gets us an rbi as well so we're one for two with the double and an RBI here in our debut. Redding up 6-3. to three. In the seventh inning, still the left-handed starter out on the mound. And we fall behind 0-2 with one out. Nobody on. And actually, this isn't the starter. They have brought in a relief pitcher because this is just pitch number 10 right here. 1-2 count. And this one is popped up into foul territory. Third baseman going over is going to have a chance, but he doesn't come up with it. So still one and two. We're going to have some more cuts at this one. And we swing and miss at the high 95-mile-an-hour fastball. So we strike out for the first time in our career. As well, a lot of firsts here in this first episode. So we're on first with one out. And here is a drive into left field. The catch is made. We're going to have to get on our horse and get back. Here comes the throw, and we don't get back in time. So we are doubled up at first. A base running error. Now 0-2 with two outs for Redding here in the second game of the series. We're one for one with a single back in the first, and we lead one to nothing. We're in the third now. Slider over the uh, outside corner, but called a ball. Pitch number two also called a ball. 2-0 and with nobody out. And here is the 2-0 delivery. That one's taken right down the middle for strike one. And we pop this one up into shallow left field. The shortstop going back makes the catch. And we are retired in the third. So Redding is up 2-1 now in the fourth. Runner on first with nobody out, and this one is headed our way. It's hit into right. We are there, and the runner is going to have to go back to first as we make the catch. So back in the field again. It's the fourth inning, and this one is going to get past us and go all the way to the wall. So another fielding mistake is going to cost us a run, and the runner will end up on third. As you just, we just took a bad angle at this one, and it gets past us. Runs all the way to the wall. And we'll try to make up for it at the plate. We're 0 for 3, batting 200. 
on the season. We lead 5-4 to four in the seventh inning. We foul off the first pitch. 0-1 count. Here comes the delivery. Splitter swung on and missed. 0-2 count. This one is down and in. 1-2 and two delivery now. With nobody out. And it is grounded right back up the middle. Shortstop has it on to first and we're retired. So we are still 0 for on the game and we're back out in the field. Still leading 5-4. to four. And this one is hit into left field. And this one's going to get down. Go all the way to the wall. We play it pretty well off the wall. Here comes the throw. Runner heading to third. Here's the relay. And it is not in time. So the runner is in with a triple. And we head to the eighth inning now. New inning. I will get some inning dividers. And uh, that might make it easier to keep track of where we're at in the game. But in the eighth inning, all tied up at five. A two-run home run for the Fightins. And we go down 7-5. So 0 for 4 now. We come up in the ninth inning trying to get something started. Trying to get on base. And a swinging bunt is not going to get the job done. So we go 0 for 5 on the day. Not a very good day at the ballpark for us. 0 for 5, also an error. And we head to the third game of this opening series. We're batting 167 with an RBI. 333 on base percentage. And the pitch inside, 1 0 count. We're in the first inning with one out. Second pitch, a cutter taken for strike one. 1 1 delivery. And this one is fouled back. It's 1 and 2 with one out. And the breaking ball is lifted into left field. That one's headed into foul territory. And it's going to be out of play. 1 2 count with one out. Here's the delivery. That one taken for ball two up high. A little bit of a rainy day here in Reading, Pennsylvania. 3-2 count with one out. And the delivery. And this one is going to be pulled to the right side. First baseman has it. He'll touch the bag for out number two. And we continue to struggle to start off our double-A career. 0-1 with one out. And this one is going to be driven here into right field. I think I kept calling it left field. What am I talking about? I called it left field earlier just because it looks left to me on my screen. So right field, this one is going to be caught for the out. So we make the play there. We're getting better defensively. I don't think it'll take too long to get the defense down. Start being able to read angles and stuff like that off the bat. Third inning now. This one's also going to drop in front of us. And we play it nicely, show off our arm. Two-third there. Two to nothing, Redding with the lead in the fourth inning. We get another at bat here. And the breaking ball driven right back up the middle at the pitcher for a base hit on the first pitch. And we are on base trying to get a rally started. Stay back on the breaking ball. Drive it right back at the pitcher's knees. And with nobody out, we are on first. Here's the delivery. Swung on and missed. 0-1 with nobody out. And here comes the throw to first, and we weren't ready for it. And we are tagged out, picked off on the play. Not an overly great move. Just slow to get back. So we're going to end up, end up this episode on that note. A base running mistake. So uh, later episodes, I will do better at uh, closing it off with stats and having it more of a story. And I'll figure out a way to format this thing so that it uh, comes across in a more intelligible way than this first episode did. Where we divide things up and... Uh, so look forward to those. This was just the first one. It'll evolve, become a decent series, I think, and one that I might be able to keep going um, indefinitely into the future as new MLB The Show versions come out with year-to-year -year saves. We'll just continue to follow this career through the AA, AAA levels into the major leagues, hopefully eventually at some point. We will make it here on uh, Road to the Show. It's MLB The Show 18 on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming.